Professor Sungjil Ji from Rutgers University and British acoustics researcher John Stewart Reed conducted a preliminary investigation for developing a protocol showing whether the lifespan of human red blood cells could be influenced by music. What started off as a promising experiment in December 2017 at the laboratory of John Stuart Reed blossomed into an amazing revelation for the therapeutic sound community. The first part of the experiment involved exposing red blood cells to classical music in an incubator for 20 minutes. A control vial was placed in a Faraday cage, an enclosure used to block electromagnetic fields during scientific experiments. When the cells were counted, there was a significant increase in the number of blood cells which had been exposed to the music. This initial phase led to an even more astounding experiment in June 2019. The first investigation had been conducted with only classical music. The June experiment was to include many forms of music, but this time, in addition to the music, a frequency combination called cell regeneration from Cyma Technologies was also included in the tests. The second phase focused on immersing human red blood cells in a specific sound sample for 20 minutes. The blood sample was decanted into two vials. One vial of the blood was placed in the laboratory music incubator, while the second vial was placed in the quiet environment of the Faraday cage. Immediately following this 20-minute period, the number of blood cells from each vial was tested using an automatic cell counter. Even though many different types of musical selections were included in this experiment, the most astounding results came from the test that used the cell regeneration code. The blood sample that had been exposed to this proprietary sound combination from Cyma Technologies showed 3,400,000 red blood cells per milliliter, while the vial that was in the Faraday cage, not exposed to the sound, showed only 920,000 red blood cells. The hypothesis is that the cell membrane can more effectively retain its integrity as a result of immersion in certain frequencies. While other musical selections also generated an increase in the number of cells, no other sound selection showed such an overwhelmingly positive response as the cell regeneration code. I was thrilled to report this preliminary investigation to everyone who is an owner of an AMI 750. The cell regeneration code is one of the most important ones we put in all of our channels. My personal hypothesis is that when our cells are placed in a sound environment, their ability to perform the cellular dance and maintain their optimum cycles is naturally enhanced. This is a great step toward the health and longevity we all desire. If you would like to read more about this groundbreaking experiment, you can do so on our website homepage under Cymatic Science News.